Welcome back to Great Day Washington. It is National Mutt Day, so this is a great time to look into a pet if you're thinking of adopting. I spoke to the founder and president of PETA about dog adoption and also how dogs might be used to detect COVID-19 in people. Ingrid, welcome back to Great Day Washington. It's great to get to have you on the show again. Thank you so much. We're celebrating because July 31st is actually National Mutt Day. What does this day mean to you, getting to celebrate all of the dogs? Well, every day is National Mutt Day for me, <laughs> or International Mutt Day. I think those Heinz 57s, those mutts, they have the best characteristics of all the dogs put together. And so we always say adopt, don't shop, mm -hmm. don't bring more animals into the world while the shelters are crammed full of them. Go on down there if they're open, hopefully they are, or look online and get yourself a fabulous mutt who's going to love you forever and be grateful. And if you have the time and the patience and the money for veterinary care, because that True. is not cheap, right. and you can respect those animals, get two, and then they'll keep each other company when you're away, if you ever get out of the house again. <laughs> and it's great fun to see them play and play and play. But a lot of respect, a lot of love. You always look at our dog. She is a mutt, actually. And she just has something going on where you, you see that intelligence happening. What do you think with dogs as far as their in, in, intelligence? They're extremely intelligent. Mm. I think we underestimate them. You know, they have to pay attention to every single thing that we do because mm. you never know. They depend on us for a clean drink of water to go outside and relieve themselves. I mean, mm. really. And so if they're scratching at the door, this is not the time to say, stop that, be quiet, wait a minute, let me brush my teeth first. <laughs> it's the time to say, oh gosh, sorry, I'm coming and get them out there and then don't hurry them. Let mm. them smell the bushes, let them read their internet. They know who's been by, they know mm. what kind of health they're in. They have those wow. amazing schnozzes and they have 300 million olfactory receptors in their noses, we have 6 million. So they know much, much more of what's going on than we do. And they are very, very smart. Speaking of that intelligence, they're now using dogs to help in the fight with COVID-19. Are you amazed by this, of what they're doing? And what are they specifically doing with dogs? Well, I'm not amazed because mm. I think um, they've always been very helpful. You know, dogs are able sometimes to detect breast cancer with as much accuracy as a human physician and before. So wow. people who haven't known and the dog is just on their chest looking, looking for something and they may find they have a little lump. They've mm. also always been able to show if someone is about to have an epileptic seizure. Mm -hmm. That person may not know that the dog can detect these very subtle biochemical changes in the body chemistry. So they smell different things. You know, someone has said TB, tuberculosis, smells if you can use instrumentation, like um, stale beer, but they don't need instrumentation. So they can differentiate the different viruses from scent. Mm. And so now uh, two uh, universities are training dogs to sniff out COVID-19. And so I'm, I'm not surprised at all. Um, I did want to mention before we go, Ingrid, Cam, Cam Newton has just recorded a video for you all because of his new vegan lifestyle. Um, it was an incredible video and I really appreciated how he said it's just a discipline to have this lifestyle. I've seen such a remarkable change in the way my body responds to the food that I eat. This is Cam Newton and this is for Peter. Are you shocked that Cam's doing this? Bless his heart, fabulous. Mm -hmm. And we've got people like Formula One champion Lewis Hamilton. We've got Djokovic, the tennis champ. We've got all these sports figures now. There's even a movie about them called Game Changers. Mm -hmm. And they're all going vegan for stamina mm -hmm. because they care about the environment. They care about the animals. They don't want clogged arteries and they show you how simple it is to do these days. So yes, more power to him and lots of football players. My goodness. <laughs> I actually met a former football player who I was surprised when he refused the burger and he said, no, I'm a vegan. I'm like, oh really? <laughs> it's just not someone you think of having the vegan lifestyle. 
Well, you do nowadays. I mm-hmm. think we didn't. That's there true. was that old macho business of, you know, I have to have my meat kind of thing. That's right. all gone out the window. And so now they're looking at the science of eating. They're looking at what keeps you a lean, mean fighting machine. And they're looking at what's going to give you longevity, stamina, what's going to mm-hmm. give you better recovery. And that's a theme yeah. that they all go into is that they feel they recover from sports injuries that they can't avoid uh, much, much quicker if they're on a plant-based, wholly vegan diet. No dairy, no milk, you know, nothing like that, no meat. And that, that's great. Yeah. 